It's spring planting season on the Schmidt farm in Sudlersville. Here on the eastern shore, the Schmidts know everything they're doing could have an impact on the Chesapeake Bay. That's why they've invested in some of the latest and greatest digital farming equipment available. Technology helps them grow crops and be good stewards of the land. The practices that we are doing are expensive, but um, it, it's vital for this area. Technology plays a huge role on Maryland farms, helping farmers produce more food at a lower cost, with less impact on the environment. It helps take the guesswork out of farming, and it's called precision agriculture. Today, brothers Hans and Alan Schmidt are using a tractor with all the bells and whistles to plant about 120 acres of corn. This is a huge piece of equipment. What is this? What are we, what are we getting ready to do here? Well, this is our corn planter. So what makes this so technological then? Well, there's a computer in the cab that runs the corn planter. And we use a prescription. So we have uh, harvested our crops off these fields for well over 10 years. And we have a history of the yields of the higher spots and the lower yielding spots. The prescription stored in the computer means the planter will use less seed in the less fertile areas and more seed where the computer predicts it will thrive. That means less wasted seed. After the planter is loaded, it's time to see what this thing can do. Wow, this is nice in here. I like the seat just for me. Yep. All right, let's start this bad boy up, shall we? All right, let's go. Alan is in the driver's seat, but he's not actually driving. The tractor is equipped with auto steer technology. It uses a GPS, not all that different than we use in our cars, to keep him on course and its margin of error is less than an inch. We're not gonna have skips in the fields or overlaps. When it's harvest time, the computer keeps track of how much is harvested where, and the Schmitz can download that information to help them when it's time to plant next year. It's all so impressive, it almost seems too good to be true. You've gotta get out and check. You gotta do a little digging. You wanna make sure the seed is here, that the spacing looks about right, that the depth looks right. So it's not just sitting in a tractor and, and totally relying on the computer. You have to get out and do a little work. Sure enough, it checks out. The Schmidt brothers say their eye for innovation is hereditary. Dad Walter was one of the first to adopt the eco-friendly no-till method back in the 1960s. About a month after the corn was planted, it's about a foot and a half tall and adding inches every day. This is when Eastern Shore farmers start spraying the corn with liquid nitrogen fertilizer, called side dressing. And it's when Hans Schmidt breaks out the newest addition to his precision agriculture arsenal. This is a green seeker uh, sensors that we're using on the sprayer. What we're doing is as we go across the field with this sprayer, these sensors are measuring the vigor in the crop. And as it measures the vigor in the crop, it's telling the pump on the sprayer how much nitrogen to apply. The nitrogen is being fed through these hoses and down into this hose right here as it's dragging across the ground and applying the nitrogen. At this stage in the growing process, the corn is hungry. It sucks up the nitrogen. And because the dose is just right, there's less potential for nutrient runoff into the Chesapeake Bay. It's not over applying, it's not under applying, it's putting the fertilizer in the right place. The technology is very new and it isn't perfect yet. University of Maryland assistant professor Josh McGrath is using grant money to help Hans and about a half dozen other farmers test Green Seeker, hoping to prove it's worth the ten dollars to $20,000 investment. Just maximizing productivity with minimizing inputs really helps in our global need to provide food sustainably, you know. So it's, a, it's really a global issue and a local issue. We live here in the Chesapeake Bay watershed and we live in a very sensitive area. And I think it's our part to do our best to preserve the environment and still be able to uh, grow a healthy crop.